out. This is too low. So we're going to raise that up all along the back here. All right, time to take the motor off. First time since I've had the boat, the motor's coming off. And I'll go ahead and undo the fuel line right there. All right, that's what I'm thinking. And you can see there's a gap there. I'm going to use that piece of flat steel to make up the gap. Perfect width. All right, I'm gonna do four pieces by eleven inches for here, 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 and here. template for my next pieces. Alright. The four pieces at eleven inches. Now I'm going to clean up these pieces. All right. So I'm going to do those four pieces in the middle. Then I'm going to do these two pieces on the outside. And then I'm going to use my C-clamps to really squeeze it tight. Huh, crooked hole. Whatever. Perfect length bolts though. Tell you what. That's perfect. Oh, I let the smoke out of it a little bit. Crooked bolt. Oh, I don't care. At least we kept that square.
it's done. She's done. Got me a new drill. Be a little more careful not to burn it up. Whoa, that worked a lot better. All right. 20. Ten is the middle line. <clears throat> Myself an inch on either side of the motor and then put another one right here. It's going to be on the back side. I don't even think you need those clamps. I'm putting the clamps on, sweetie. <laughs> All right, we're going to measure from here to there. Right at three inches. It needs to go this way just to scosh. That is solid already. And I ain't put clamps on it, like she said, but I'm going to put clamps on it. <clears throat> Just to help squeeze it in there. I gotta cut this plate down so I have something to sandwich my clamp on that won't damage my transom. All right, I'm just cleaning up my edges a little bit so it's not so freaking dangerous. All right, time to clamp it down. What? You Make it fun. Sound? My yeah. wife is laughing at me. Did you have to sound like that? What? Time to clamp it down! What do you mean? How did I sound? No, no, you got a little, little necky there. You got excited. Sure all my bolts are good and tight. Some German torque specs. Alright, so what I did is I put these C clamps in here in between the L iron on both sides. Got the transom sandwiched in there. And I put this piece of just flat steel in here to give the C clamp something to grab against so they're not putting these spots in the transom like the motor did originally. And then now I can go ahead and set the motor back on there. Are we going to videotape that, sweetie? Sure. Alright.
Alright. I make it a little towards your way. Let's go ahead and measure it. That'd be even better. Yeah, we're just gonna measure it. So. That's what it looks like from the back view. See, I got the L iron on both sides. Got it sandwiched in there. And no holes in the transom. And it is solid. Ain't going nowhere. Where's it going? Nowhere. to see what this puppy will do set up right still pumping water good right now That's why I didn't drill any holes, guys. Just trying it out. All right, I'm gonna adjust my trim tab all the way in, I think. trial and error Honda specs say it should be at or two inches below it's definitely a Honda so I'm gonna put it right dead at it next try or I'll just move it a half inch down at a time 
That makes the most sense to me. All right, today I raised my motor up three inches. My transom from the top to the bottom, 15, right in the middle. And the motor is 17 and a half. I did a lot of research online. Everybody says the higher, the faster, the better. But you get too high, you get cavitation. All right, so I figured let's go to three inches. It's a lot easier to reduce a size than it is to stretch a size. My theory behind it was go big, see how it does. That's what I did today. Set up the exact same trim as before and it cavitated right out of the gate. I mean, you've seen the video. So I think I have to go down a half an inch. I'm only gonna go a half an inch because just like why I did three inches. It's easier to go down than it is to get bigger. The sun is set. And my wife said she wanted me in by dark. So I'm gonna go head back to the dock, get the boat out of the water. I'm gonna go get some pizza and head home. Hey, but thanks for watching. We'll show you an update video when I take that half inch off. It might be part of this video. I don't know. But thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.